Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another course vlog. Let's head right on out to number 10. It's gonna be a firing back nine. Here we go. The 10th hole here is a beautiful one, starting just on the back side of the clubhouse here next to the front entrance. It's gonna be a layup off the tee. Water left and water long. You're gonna wanna play to the fat part of the fairway back here. It will serve a longer approach to the green, over 150 yards more than likely, but play to the percentages here on number 10 and take your medicine. Another gigantic green with fingers all over the place. This whole location was pretty much right in the middle. A smooth two iron for me here off the tee. Left me that 165 yard number in the flag. That's right in between a nine and an eight iron. Just took a smooth eight iron here. Absolutely flush this one. Landing just underneath the hole from 20 feet. This is for birdie. Always nice to see the ball just lip in the hole. I knew I had my speed right today, and it was time to take advantage of an easy par five. It dog legs around the water to the right, and with my length, I could just decide on how much dog leg I wanted to take on, especially over those tall, tall palm trees that frame this fairway. If you head down Main Street, those are really gonna constrict your second shot as it heads up the hill to a blind approach on this green. You're gonna see the pot bunker on the left side, but it's embedded in the hill where the green is just on the other side. It's one of the smaller ones here on the golf course, but rather accepting to most shots. Now here I played this one to cut a lot of distance off the corner and I flirted with disaster, but came out lucky. Here from the fluffy stuff from just over 200 yards, this was a six iron. I had about, <clears throat> I guess I had about 205 yards or so into the screen up the hill, blind. We stuffed it, a little bit more than a formality for Eagle. I can't miss it though. A little bit more than a formality here for the three. It went to the bottom of the cup. Two under par for the round. And it's time to start attacking every flag as my confidence was sky high, even though the pace of the round was about as slow as it can possibly be. This back hole location on number 12 is pretty tough with all of that sand and water around this hole location. A smooth gap wedge trying to get it all the way back to this hole location, but it's a tiny little target back there. Right on the fringe from pin high, I was definitely going to take the putter. No chipping necessary. Not quite enough to get it all the way up there. It was underneath the hole and a comfy cleanup for the par as we can head on to the nice par for 13th hole, which is rather simple of a hole. It's just gonna play through the terrain here, uphill into the middle of the fairway, and then down a little slope into the green. Sometimes Shot Tracer just can't pick up the ball here in the twilight, but this one was tugged a little left into the thick stuff under the trees. But I gotta look at I'll it. I'll be right on it. Come on. Come on, be right on it. Oh! Oh! oh. I thought it was gonna go in the hole. Almost a hole out from the rough, just above the hole here for the birdie. We're down to three under par for the round. We've got five holes to play. The 14th hole here may be the signature on the golf course as this green is the largest in North America. I read that on their website. So, hey, I'm going to say it here. The largest in North America. This thing is gigantic. It's like three or four greens oh, built man. into one. Darn it. 
You got a giant elevated yeah, tee box that, here. That is what I've done all day, so this one is down the hill, about 10 yards, thinking I can get a seven iron all the way there. I flared it go, right, go, go, but go, hit a fantastic go. chip shot to three feet for par. Thank you. The flat stick was on fire and I was ready to roll. We had a par five in front of us and well, it was time to feast once again. This one's heading up the hill all the way to the green and you got those tall palm trees down the right protecting the dog leg. So you're gonna have to carve it around those palm trees as you probably will not be able to fly it over. Coming into the green, only a bunker on the right will serve as the main hazard, but it is uphill all the way even though this drone footage tends to flatten things out a little bit. The whole location here on the front tongue of another slender par five green. Confidence was sky high and so was that tee shot right down Main Street. We had 230 yards to go. Flush the four iron, thought I got it all the way there, but it was just a bit short. In the fluffy stuff, 10 yards short, should be a simple pitch and putt. From 10 feet, just above the hole for birdie, again. <laughs> Oh, another one lips in the right hand side. This was, oh boy, this was the round of the year when I played it. My goodness, what a day we're having so far. A difficult par four here, easily the toughest hole on the golf course. That lake is gigantic. There's a huge hill on the right hand side as well. So that car path is elevated. Got to lay it up to the fairway and then it's, all carry to this wide and shallow green. Two iron off the tee as we knew it was 280 yards to the lake and that was nothing I was going to mess with. Oh, be, be good, come on. Be, give me the distance, please. Whew, skin on my tee. And we just barely got over the water. Was able to hit a good chip shot from that dormant Bermuda and tap in the par putt to so hold on to that four under number as we got two tough par fours to play. The first is this 17th heading from the top of the hill and kind of playing down a little bit the whole way. You got to deal with those two spectacle bunkers on the right as the fairway carves around the side of them. So there's a little bit of difficulty here on the drive. If you see that little bit of finger on the left of the fairway, that's significantly lower than the green. You're going to have a blind shot from down there into one of the more square greens that you're going to see out here all day, but a tough hole location today. A little bit of a safety shot here. Try to just bleed it into the fairway and I overcooked it up onto the hill on the right side of this par four. Like that. Darn it. that was a tough, tough lie out of this overseated rye. A little short of the hole here. This is, should be a simple pitch, but man, was this a tight little part of the green where this front hole location was located. I just couldn't quite get the ball to stop on the tongue or get this par putt to drop from the fringe. I was really frustrated to tap in my only bogey here of the back nine so far, but it was what it was and we've got to deal with one of the tougher holes on the entire golf course. Number 18 here. The fairway will run out at 280 yards into that lake, and it's also going to curve about 260 to the main fat part of the fairway, but that's going to leave you a lot into this green. If you can take it over the corner, you're going to cut some distance off. It's another triangular shaped, well, I guess it's a clover shaped green here, and it's connected to the ninth over there with that little baby bridge. And of course, 
that water running right underneath. Three wood for me here off the tee. That is a three wood over the bunker, Hugo. As called by my partner, Bro Chacho Golf. I needed to put this one right over the bunker. We were running out of light and I had just over a hundred yards this flag and came up short with the sand wedge. But a simple pitch to just a foot will salvage the sub 70 round. And I really appreciate you all joining me here today. We'll see you next time. Later.